There is no denying this country is in the middle of an opioid epidemic. First responders go on call after call because of overdoses. So what just happened in Butler County shocked even veteran police and firefighters. Bob Allen has more. Even while we were here today, Butler County firefighters were called out to yet another drug overdose. Like many communities, heroin use is a major problem. But first responders kept drug overdoses from spiraling out of control earlier this week. If you live in the city of Butler, you may have heard the constant roar of sirens from police, fire, and paramedics one day earlier this week. First responders were busy treating a rash of drug overdose victims. They were called to six opioid-related overdoses in less than nine hours. It's a difficult thing. It's a difficult thing for the community to understand and uh, for me to understand as well. It's, it's hard to understand how somebody could possibly want to do this to themselves um, and put their lives in danger. The victims range in age from 22 to 39 and they were all revived with Narcan, the anti-opiate drug that's now carried by all first responders. Many of the victims aren't strangers to firefighters. It gets frustrating like, to go multiple times in the same day for the same person. So, But again, like we said, it's part of the job. For one of the victims, this was her second Narcan treatment in 24 hours, plus she had a child. Another had five empty stamp bags of suspected heroin fall out of his pocket. Five the first to respond and administer Narcan about 80% of the time. We're ruining their high. Uh, they, they come out of it angry. Uh, instant denial, they didn't do anything. Firefighters say they often feel sorry for the children of drug users, but police say in many cases they can't arrest victims themselves. Due to the Good Samaritan Act, that all falls under that, saying that we cannot uh, charge as long as they called, stayed in the area, and, you know, rendered aid. Last year, Butler County had 192 overdose deaths. We don't know if the availability of Narcan will reduce those numbers, but it's giving everyone hope. In Butler County, Bob Allen, KDKA TV News.